this question comes from N MJ and she asks, we've been together 19 years. His family dislikes me and are coercing him to leave me and our two children. Oh. I know, is that awful? I, I get that they don't like me, but I can't do anything about it. I don't understand why he is putting their opinion above all we've shared in this relationship. Oh my gosh, that's devastating. Oh, family, wow, that's just unfortunate. Um, okay, well, I have a couple different things about that. Um, I don't necessarily agree that she can't do anything about it. Mm, that's um, <laughs> it's possible that they don't like her because because of her ethnicity, because of her religion, because if there's things, it's just possible that they don't like her because of things she can't change. People hold grudges too. Like maybe there's something she did 20 years ago they can't get over. Exactly. So I wonder <laughs> if that statement is true. Um, if in fact there isn't anything, if there's something she could apologize for, if there's something that she could try with, if there's, I don't, I don't know completely. It, again, it's possible that they don't like her for something that she can't change. It's likely that there may be some things that she could do to help with that. Secondly, um, wow, yeah. You know, once you get married and have kids, that becomes your nuclear family. That is now your number one priority and needs to be above your extended family. They, those people, your parents, and they now become your extended family. Right. Your family family is your nuclear family. Lots of people have a hard time with that transition. Lots of people feel disloyal. They feel like they can't make their partner the number one thing in their lives, and it causes situations like this. It gives the extended family too much say, too much power, too much influence into your relationship and can disintegrate an entire relationship. I can't, again, I can't imagine a, 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 any parent recommending that a, that a man break apart his family and, and destroy his children's lives and all of that because they don't like, I mean, that's that's fascinating to me. But, you know, people are interesting and there's people have their all kinds of issues and I'm not saying that. So, again, he needs to understand that his wife and his family is his number one priority and he and, and possibly start pulling away from that. The other thing that I talk about all the time in the system and in my own life is we really shouldn't have people in our lives who are not supportive of our union. Oh, right. We really, not friends, not siblings, not parents. We shouldn't have people in, in, in an influential position in our lives who aren't supportive of the marriage. Monogamy is hard. It's hard to keep a marriage together for 19 and 40 and 60 years. Mm -hmm. If you have got people in your ear that, that undermine that and that put, you know, thoughts and, oh, well, she does this and he does that. Like, that just makes it even harder. I don't recommend friends, girlfriends, like any of that stuff that, that are really against marriage or even against our partner or certainly are, are for breaking up our union. So, yeah. again, I, 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 I always, always with these questions, I just want to get this information to him right. and have him change his priorities. Um, but in the meantime, I would say to her, I bet there are some things you could do. I bet there are some things that you could do, maybe even going directly to these people and saying, please don't break up my family. What yeah. can I do? Talking, don't even talk through him, go to them. What can I do? What, how can we fix this? How can we, to save your grandchildren, to save, so their lives aren't you know, ruined right. 